Hey Cobras, I'm Leanne. Today on Vista Venom, we pay tribute to Mr. Myers, our principal, here at Park Vista High School. After 40 years of a career in education and 13 years as the principal of Park Vista High School, Mr. Myers is retiring. Throughout his time here, Mr. Myers has made a tremendous impact on our school, and he will be missed by many. Noam Bernstein from the Cobra Chronicle had a chance to sit down and interview Mr. Myers about his career, retirement, and future. Vista Venom was invited to get the exclusive interview on film. Here's Daisha with the story. After attending Florida Atlantic University, Mr. Myers began his career in education in 1981 as an elementary school teacher. I wanted to make sure that I could have lessons and activities that were uh, fun, that they were uh, interesting. Uh, I wanted to be present and in the moment uh, for them. But also I wanted to establish an environment whereby they knew that, number one, I cared about them So I, as, as individuals, you know, and uh, there's an old saying that uh, uh, kids don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. So, and it was, so that's about building relationships. Very, very simple thing, but sometimes building relationships can be a challenge for some. But if you work hard at trying to well, that build that relationship with the student, with the staff, um, if you put that work in up front, it'll pay dividends, I think, on, on, at, on the end. Your return on your investment will be that much greater. In 2008, Mr. Myers became the principal at Park Vista High School, a top school in Palm Beach County, where he strived to maintain and improve the school's educational standards. We provided more accelerated courses. You know, our, our graduation rate, you know, has, has continued to move forward. You know, we've had national merit finalists. We've always had a strong expectation for having a high performing environment or culture, you know, in, in the school. Uh, we've always engaged the families, you know, here at Park Vista. Uh, so many, so many accolades, so many uh, accomplishments uh, that either s students have earned, staff has, has earned. That, that, that's, that's something that you have to you know, you have to really step back and, and, and be proud of. And, and it's not because, you know, of mm -hmm. me, you know, it's because of their commitment and their dedication and their desire to be the best that they can be. Before Mr. Myers bids us all farewell, he wants to remind students to stay positive. Students should never, never be are discouraged by comments that someone might make along their educational journey, right? Mm -hmm. um, I think that it's important for them uh, to know that they can accomplish anything that they want to accomplish. Uh, they put their, uh, the, they commit themselves to it, that they make a plan, um, that they, you know, if they have to revise and update the plan, that's okay, but at least they got a plan and stay the course, right? But don't become discouraged uh, by anything because they can be whoever they want to be in this life and in this world. Uh, but they have to want it. They have to understand that there will be times when there will be roadblocks or obstacles that they might face. But if they stay focused and stay steadfast and just keep moving forward, they're, they're going to be all right. Mr. Meyer's journey of being a principal at Park Vista will end this year, but his daily interactions, positive conversations, and unforgettable happiness will be remembered by the staff, teachers, and students of Park Vista. This is all I know. This is all I know, right? You know, just sitting here having a conversation with you, this is what it's all about, right? So I am going to miss the the daily interactions I've had with, the, with, with, with everyone mm -hmm. on, this, on this staff, all of our students, you know, um, anyone that has come to the school, you know, I, I, I'm going to miss it. There hasn't been a day, good or bad, there has not been a day that I've gotten up that I did not want to come to COVID. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's ever been a day, no matter what school I've served as the principal, that I haven't enjoyed getting up and being 
there with the students and the staff and, and anyone that, you know, our parents or our visitors that have come to the campus, uh, our campuses or the campuses that I've had the chance to leave. Um, I'm going to miss it. No doubt I'm not fooling myself or anyone. I will miss it. And though Mr. Myers won't be here next year, he is very optimistic about Park Fisher's future and its new principal, Dr. Vela. I firmly believe that this school has a bright, bright, bright future under his leadership and under his guidance. And if they're given the opportunity, if we give him the opportunity, meaning that we welcome him to Cobra Country just as the students and everyone welcomed me, he will take this institution, this stellar institution, to a high level. And I believe he's the guy that can get it done. And he will get it done. There's good change coming your way. Mr. Myers has touched the lives of many here at Park Vista. Here are a few staff members that wanted to wish Mr. Myers well on his future endeavors. Congratulations! Mr. Myers, congratulations. Thank you for everything. <sighs> you will be missed. I just told Ms. Tickle I was not gonna get emotional. Thank you, really. You have raised the bar and don't be a stranger. Hi, Mr. Myers. Uh, just wanted to say how fortunate I, I feel to have worked for you and, and to have had you as our principal. Uh, you are the ideal principal. You exemplify what a leader should be like for any organization. Uh, there's a reason why things are run so smoothly here and why things are so structured. It's because of you. Um, you expect excellence from us. On top of all that, you take the time to say hello to each and every person uh, and, and ask how they're doing. You, uh, you make everyone feel valued. And as a result, we all want to work very hard for you. And that is how an organization should be run. So it's been a privilege to have you as our leader. And you will be missed. And I wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Myers, for all the years you've been here in Park Vista. You've been wonderful to work for. We wish you all the best. Hope you enjoy retirement and I'm right behind you. I'm retiring too. But so thank you for all you've done for our students and for our staff and teachers. And I know you will be greatly missed. Take care. Congratulations, Mr. Congratulations. Mr. Myers. Congratulations, Congratulations, Mr. Myers. Congratulations, Mr. Myers. Congratulations. 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 We'll miss you. Mr. Myers. We'll miss you. Congratulations. Congratulations. We'll miss you. Hi, Mr. Myers. I just wanted to tell you that it's been a privilege serving under your administration the past umpteen years. All our ups and downs, the the newspaper, the shutdown for the pandemic, you made everything seamless and you uh, made this job enjoyable for me. I'm so glad that you have your legs back so that you can run around and have a lot of fun in your retirement. Best of luck to you and your family. Thanks a lot. Well, I don't know how well you can hear it, but the Disney Epcot exit song is playing in the background. It seems somehow appropriate for you. Um, I just wanted to wish you a happy retirement and tell you that it's been an absolute pleasure working for you. Bye for now, but not forever. 
Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out Mr. Meyer's full farewell interview featured in Cobra Chronicle. Have a great day here today in Cobra Country. We wish you the best, Mr. Myers.